Hi, my name is Justin. Um, I've been blessed to be part of the Pama Garden training. It's, this is like the second time because uh, I was also blessed to be in the same training uh, for the very first time. And uh, you know, we've been learning a lot of things, a lot of stuff. And I mean, every one of the participants is going back home with a very big package of information and uh, skill set to be shared among the rest of the WAP members. And uh, for sure, this is going to be very productive and very fruitful into their existing farming practices. Uh, we've been learning about so many things. Uh, actually, in Rwanda, we already have what we call the kitchen garden. And uh, this was a government program. And uh, with this program, people have been taught about just the design of the garden, how beautiful the design looks like. And... Uh, no one, when you approach those people and ask, do you really know the principles behind this? They're like, oh no, what we know is like we bring soil and we heap up together and we make a very beautiful design. But when you ask about the principles, nobody knows. They simply enjoy the design. Uh, they don't know about uh, fertilizers. They don't know about water management. They don't know about soil. They don't know about the quality of fertilizer. They don't know about using the natural resources we have available with us. They simply think about, I mean, paying out some money to buy those expenses, expensive things to make that beautiful design. And when you go into the villages, most people are not able to afford. They simply enjoy the design, but they are not able to even put it, put it into the practice, the real action, because they don't have money to pay for those expensive things, expensive material, the sacks, the, the, I mean, uh, bringing the soil from other places, uh, bring it and they heap it in one place. Uh, I mean, they don't have that kind of ability to do it. Uh, but when you look at the Pama Garden, this is actually what is very practical to our people. They're able to apply it. Uh, and uh, we learned about so many principles, uh, how to capture water, how to manage water, how to put the soil into, I mean, the, the fertilizer into the soil to make sure that the, the, the fertilizer is deep into the soil so that when it rains, water will not take it away. And uh, uh, during the mulch, you see the mulch here, uh, this one is like taking water and uh, keep it into the soil, bank it into the soil, and this water is used during the, rain, uh, the, 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 the dry season. So when you look at the system here, it's cost no money. People are able to find everything we've, we, we, we've been discussing about and been using here. So this is very practical and very applicable uh, with, uh, with our Rwandan people, with our Rwandan farmers. So this one is very, very practical and very useful and very fruitful. Uh, I, I mean, we've learned about many principles, um, uh, energy efficiency, uh, uh, water management, uh, reassessing the system. I mean, we've learned about many, many, many things. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, everybody's already a trainer because they, they are going back, we are going back with this package of skill set and information and knowledge to share with the rest of the club members and to share with the rest of the community members. Actually, I really feel that what I'm saying is not even enough because uh, the, the, the real testimonies have been given by the participants themselves. They talked about star, the, the, there is a banana tree there, it, it's already named star. I mean, I, I mean, it's it's beyond what Justin can even tell you. I mean, thank you so much. That's what I can say. Thank you.